Kill Factor. Back in Lake Placid, we're ready to see what our infrared timing gates reveal about how we accelerated down this half mile run. From the start to the first timing gate, 300 feet down the track, we covered the distance in 8.73 seconds and had accelerated to 17 miles per hour. At 900 feet, our velocity had increased 117% to 37 miles per hour and rolled into another sharp curve. Whoa! At 1,500 feet, or a little more than halfway down the track, the timing gate showed our velocity had ticked up another 32%. Our speed held until the 2,100 foot mark, where we hit our top speed of 56 miles per hour before we hit the track's tightest turn and shot out to the end. Oh my goodness! Altogether, we covered the half mile distance in 42 seconds. That means our average speed was 42.8 miles per hour. Okay, are you ready for a second run? Absolutely, but now that we know that the speed varies on the ride, it's gonna be interesting to see how that correlates to the G-forces. You know, on a roller coaster, it's not uncommon for riders to experience three, even four Gs. Do you think we're pulling that? You know what, it feels like it, but I feel like we need to do some more testing before we can confirm that the feel is real. We'll use accelerometers that will not only track acceleration, but also the G-forces we experience as we run down the mountain. It's time to get going on that second run. <laughs> Woo! Clear the track to the after track is clear for. This time we have Carrie, full touring. Attention. 